when Wesley graduated from high school, um, his brother and sister were going to go to college, but Wesley wasn't ready. And we were looking for a place where he could learn the skills that he didn't have at the time so that he could complete a school successfully. So we both started looking. I was combing the internet. We were using the resources from the school. And I happened to find CIP on the internet one day, and they were having an open house the next day. And so I was there. And once I went to that open house, I knew that was the right place for Wesley. We did look at other places, but nothing compared. I don't remember being overly enthusiastic about it. I mean, I think I wanted to just go directly to a four-year college because I felt ready, I guess. I don't know. It, Wesley always struggled in school. Um, he has a number of different learning differences. And, you know, in school he, he got bullied. He would ask questions a lot. Uh, the way he learned is if he, if he didn't understand, he couldn't absorb the information, so he would ask a lot of questions. And that was, it was hard for teachers to handle. I've been a teacher for 50 years, so, you know, more than most people, I know what's going on in the classroom and the relationship with teachers and so on. I knew things were not going well. Wesley was academically able, but it was hard to function. When he first got there, he, um, he was focusing on social skills. And, and that was one of our goals for him, to, to learn how to interact with people. Um, and he has learned that. He, you know, one of our goals was for him to have friends. And you know, when we first arrived at the college internship program, they had different parents you know, say what, what they wanted their child to achieve. And that was probably a universal statement from all the parents. I just want my child to have friends. And he has a lot of friends now. He's learned how to make friends. He has a close group, his roommates from school. They're actually coming for his birthday party um, this week. So, so it's been really a great experience. And I didn't think he would ever be self-supporting. I, it was one of my deepest worries and concerns. And um, we sent him off to the college internship program hoping he would develop those skills. And, and you know, when we selected the school, um, you know, there were different choices. We looked at different places. This was the best choice for us, we thought. But you never know until he's there. And now I know this was the right choice for him. It, it's day and night. He's a different person. The staff and the program, they are awesome. You know, this is hard, dealing with kids with learning differences, teaching them when they don't want to be taught, convincing them that they should do what they're offering. There was an interesting anecdote that towards the end of last year, you know, the third year, and I said, Wes, do you realize how much you've changed? He said, no, I haven't changed. So I went away and I thought about that for a while. And I came back and I said, Wes, I think you're right. I said, CIP helped peel back the layers that were preventing us from seeing the true person that you are. What do you think about that? I said, Grandma, I think you think too much. <laughs> and that, um, I think that really illustrated the person was there, but the world couldn't see him. You don't just go to CIP and you know, just kind of do what everyone tells you. It's not like you know, high school, follow the schedule, daily grind. It's, uh, you're there because you want to be there, not because someone else is telling you to be there. Over the three years that Wesley was at the college internship program, we really saw him grow. And, you know, um, I would say examples are learning how to interact with people and being cognizant of people's feelings, that what he says can hurt people's feelings, was major. And the first year he came back on one of the breaks, I remember him coming home with, uh, they all went to the video store to pick out a video, 
and uh, he, uh, my son's girlfriend, w w they were all looking together, and his brother's girlfriend picked out a video, and um, it was a typical chick flick, which, you know, I, I picked those out too, and he came running in saying, Mom, Mom, this was a secret, so he was, she was still in the car, he was coming in, and he told us about this movie that she picked out that they were going to have to watch and how he didn't really care for it, but he went along, he let her pick it out, he came in running in to tell me first so that he wouldn't hurt her feelings, and they all watched the movie together. Now, it sounds like a simple thing, but he would not have done that in the past. He would have complained about it and dug his heels in to get what he wanted, and so that was a huge transformation. And we've seen that over time that, you know, uh, when he was at, so at college internship program, when we first enrolled him, they talked about um, reframing, executive functioning, uh, social skills, and uh, while the team described it, it really didn't resonate with me until now I see the change in behavior of things he can do today that he couldn't do before. Now, now having completed the program, it's such a transformation. I know he can be self-supporting now. He's going to Western New England in the fall. He, you know, at the college internship program, um, he learned how to function in class. He's learned how to manage himself. He's learned to organize himself. Before that, we, we had to chop things up for him, for him to uh, complete a task. Now he can do that for himself. I think the, the best part um, socially of the CIP program was when I was in the uh, 40 High Street apartment, I had four of the roommates, so I was constantly in contact with you know, four of the people, which all had very different personalities from my own. And um, I learned a lot from that. You know, just getting, being able to get along with just everyone uh, for a long time, because you're stuck together. I'm going to be majoring in IT. Um, I've already got my dorm and everything set up. I signed up for classes, actually, just on the 17th, just recently. Advice to new parents. Um, I think it's really letting, letting the school handle it, letting go. I saw some parents were very overly engaged and you know you're there to let your kids live independently and um, the team really knows I don't know what it is the magic in the water but the formula works 